Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through what's one thing that everyone should have in their car. My car was recently broken into last week, so appreciate if you watch this video. I want to find some new ideas on what I should put in my car. So first things first, first aid kit. And a small fire extinguisher, one of those things for breaking windows in case of an accident. And the doors don't open. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like if you're like falling into water and you can just smash the window. Yeah, oh, interesting. Fire extinguisher. Very, very interesting. First aid kit, though. I think first aid kit's a good call. I have one in my car. Some kind of disposable paper, like napkin, Kleenex, baby wipes, or even an old shop towel. Nothing worse than needing to blow your nose in your car, and you have nothing at all to use. Yeah, I use napkins, actually. I always buy a package of napkins for my car. A stack of Chipotle napkins, yeah. Or you can just, like, anytime I go to a place and they give me a ton of napkins that I don't need, I always keep them in my car. It is, like, so nice whenever you need to blow your nose, and you got some... Also going to follow up with that, also putting a little tiny garbage can in your car is something really nice because then you can just blow your nose, throw it out. Seriously, a dash cam. I agree hard with this and um, half of having insurance is proof. Yep. <laughs> Coming from a place with public auto insurance seems so weird to me. Person backs into your car, claims you hit them, dash cam sells it. Yep. Person claims you ran a red light when they did and that's why there was a crash. Dash cam sells it actually had a situation with a friend where this happened and they had a dash can that showed the light go from orange flash red someone flew through and t-boned his car so dash cams very useful i have one in the front and the back and it i think it's a life changer because then you can show if the person was driving like a dummy and people are aggressive and drive stupid so like i got into a car accident and then recently or right afterwards i got my car fixed and someone else backed into me like seriously <laughs> jumper cables that is a solid thing to have in your car because batteries do die. Um, or having a b portable battery starter. That's a really nice thing to have. I don't. I realized they were a thing um, kind of recently. But uh, if you go to like a drive-in, they usually have those. <clears throat> it's just like a battery and it turns on your car if it dies. Solid. Jumper cables though, bare minimum. A flashlight. They're cheap and stored for years and take up a little space. It's better to have one and not need it than need one and not have it. Very true. Flashlights are cheap. Honestly, you should just even you should just have one in your car. It's simple, and you never know when you're going to need one. And when you need one, yeah, you you want to have one. A portable tire inflator. Use it to check top of my tires before every road kip, trip, just in case. You can do it at one of those gas station ones for like thirty, but for thirty bucks, it's a great peace of mind. Portable tire inflator. That's cool. I don't have one, but yeah, that's actually a nice idea. <laughs> um, you can get free air at some places, but I think having a portal would be cool. Tourniquet, probably inside of a good first aid kit. Cool. Glass breaker in an unlikely event. You get stuck in the car and it's going underwater. A glass breaker, seatbelt, cutter combo tool can get you out safely. If you have electronic windows, a tiny amount of water can disable electronic door locks and window buttons. Spring-loaded glass breaker will make short work of it. Even if you don't have a specialized spring-loaded glass breaker, something that comes to a sharp point, like a screwdriver that can be used to break the glass, it could save your life. I want to take a note and talk about that one because, yeah, that is... Something that could happen if your car goes into water, you're pretty screwed. Like you can't push the door open. The force is just too great at that point and you need to get out through the window. So if you have a car that's windows are battery or electric powered and water gets in and disables it, you're in tough spots. So yeah, another one, an emergency blanket. There's Mylar ones that look like an aluminum foil and cost like two or $3. If your car breaks down and it's snowing outside, you can use it to stay warmer for longer than just running the heater in the car will last. A sh the shiny fail foil side looking side reflects your body heat back at you so you can just use it to trap the heat from the car around your body core the more expensive ones are a little better and less likely to rip but even the cheap ones are better than nothing even if you don't get an emergency blanket a normal quilt in the trunk isn't a bad idea either that's cool i never thought about an emergency blanket i have a bunch of blankets in my car but not the ones that reflect heat back at me a lighter a lot of cars come with cig without cigarette lighters now apparently in an emergency, you could try rigging something together in your car battery to start a fire to either stay warm or signal someone else, or just flick a bick. <laughs> the lighters cost 50 cents. Yeah, I have lighters in my car, and just nice to have. I don't smoke or anything, but just having a lighter there for peace of mind in situations like that. Last one, flashlight. We already went over that. Flashlight's a very useful tool, and it might actually save your life. So, yeah. A blanket. Shock from traumatic injury can cause a sharp drop in body temperature. Ooh, that's a... Good point. I just thought it was going to be a generic blanket answer, but yeah. Have a blanket in your car just to keep warm. You never know, you never know when you might need it. A licensed competent driver. Yes, true. <laughs> I think everyone should have that because a lot of drivers suck. 
emergency cash. I keep up to forty dollars US dollars. Go on a road trip, stash enough cash to pay for gas to get back. If you lose your wallet, you can still get home. Well, that's actually a good one. Um, I don't like keeping money in my car, but hide it in your car. I have people going and breaking into my car, as I said. <laughs> Pack of water and a blanket. Water is such an important one. It's really crazy to think about how fast everything can go sideways when you don't have any water in your survival situation. Yeah, that's tricky because in Canada, it freezes and it shatters and makes a mess. I still think water is a useful thing to have, though. So, yeah, I, th I think that's a good one. But, yeah, you got to kind of consider what <laughs> your situation is. A towel. My dog loves to swim and run through any puddle he can find. It's also nice to have in case you get caught in some rain. Yeah, towel in my car too. I like that. I don't have a dog, but um, yeah, that is a solid one because things happen. I fell in mud the other day. <laughs> a seatbelt cutter with a window smash is at the end of, on the end in case of accidents. I have a duffel bag and survival gear my mom got me when I started driving. Held on to it because you never know. Yeah, that's solid. <laughs> it's great for robbing other cars. <laughs> what? <laughs> An umbrella. Solid. Yeah. I think it's actually a good one to have. It's not like life changing, but if you want to go for a walk and it's raining out, there you go. A tire pump that runs on the 12 volt. That's solid because, yeah, you never know when your, your uh, tires might need a pump. Credence tapes. What is that? Let's see what that is. Oh, it's from the Big Lebowski. That's funny. <laughs> Multi phone charger, solid one. Yeah, I like that because you never know when you might need your phone. Definitely a steering wheel, funny answer. Jumper cables, I second that one again. It's very solid. <laughs> also, you discipline your son. That's a meme on Reddit about a guy that always talked about getting beat with jumper cables. Forgot about that. Ice scraper, the one that de ices glass on contact. I have one of those in my car at all times in the wintertime. I think it's pretty useful and kind of a necessity, definitely, in Canadian winters. A phone de charger is designated to stay in a car. Yeah, phone cables and chargers are pretty cheap, so you should always have one just in case. Waterproof rain poncho in case you break down in the rain. Solid. I think that follows up with the umbrella. Have something for rain. You never want to be stuck in rain without an answer to it, so have a poncho or an umbrella. Be game changer. Hand sanitizer in a pump bottle. It's a dangerous world out there. I agree. I think even, especially for people that eat in their car, having hand sanitizer is such a clutch thing to have. So, yeah. Hand sanitizer, flashlight again. Yes, that is a solid one. I want to read a couple more. If you have a built or project car, it's always good to have a fire extinguisher somewhere. I've seen too many videos of people's dream cars on fire and they can't do anything. Yes, fire extinguisher, and that kind of followed up on the breaking the windows thing, so I think that's a solid one. I haven't seen anyone else mention this, but sunglasses, that's what people stole in my car. You don't really want to be caught with a full blast of sun in the eyes when you're driving. You can seriously blind you for long enough for an accident to happen. Agreed? Yeah, someone stole all my sunglasses. Kind of annoyed. Last one. If you live under a place that gets snow and ice, a big bag of kitty litter can be helpful in getting your car unstuck if you pour it under the tires. That's a solid one. Living in Canada, there's lots of ice, and sometimes the traction's not very nice, and you, if you litter the road with it, it's actually, like, really good for traction. It's like sand. We sand the roads, we salt the roads here, but kitty litter's just an easy one you can have in your car. That's a pretty solid one. So, yeah, those are some things that I would love to have in my car, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Maybe watch another video. I'll see you in the next one.